Welcome back to World of Tanks with Hachimon. Hachimon, I should say. <laughs> Mispronounced my own name. Uh, here you see me and my M4 Sherman in a Tier 5 battle on Siegfried Line Standard Battle. And you can see that I'm using the 105 Derp, Mark of Excellence. Uh, very favorable matchup. I'm platooned with Thermo. And, um, you know, while I'm getting into position, give you a little history on this tank, not that you really care. The 105mm Howitzer M4 Sherman, only 200 of them were made. They were, des they were meant to take out fortifications and uh, put howitzer fire on infantry formations. Of course, in World of Tanks, it's used very differently. It's used to derp enemy tanks. The lighter armored, the better. Um... This was, uh, I wasn't sure this was going to be as good a performance as it was when I started out, and you'll see why in a moment, but uh, I earned an Ace Tanker Mastery Badge, high caliber, um, shoot, I can't hear, a Spartan, cool-headed, and a steel wall in an M4 Sherman. You have two T1 heavies on our team, and you would think if anyone's going to learn a steel wall, it would be them or the AT2. No, it was the M4 Sherman. Spot a British Sherman 3. I splash him, hitting his track, I'm sure. I'm loaded, come back around. I miss, oh, I do hit, I'm sorry. And he hits me for 106, so he's obviously using the 3-inch gun. which I actually consider to be a good thing. If he is a 3-inch gun, he needs to be pushing me, but he can't because I have too much support. Eh, a little bit of damage there. Shot didn't go where I wanted, but I did track him again. Wait till I'm reloaded, come out, I wait till he shoots, aim low, kablooey, derp. When shooting at a Sherman, Sherman 3 or any incarnation of the Sherman, you always aim as low as you can for the rounded part of that lower plate. Looking for my next shot. I'd really like to put one up the rear of a T1 Heavy with this gun. T1 Heavy is only about 30, 38 millimeters of rear armor. There he is. i wait for it to clear up a little bit for me. Missed the first shot. Keeping an eye on the KV-1S. I don't want him to come after me. You see my platoon mate putting some pressure on the... Sh oh, and I missed my next shot. Very disappointed by that. My platoon mate's using the 3-inch. There we go. Unfortunately, it was not as dramatic as I wanted it to be, but he's dead. Second kill of the game. 598 damage. 1134 for the high caliber. And I flanked the KV-1S. Run right into a PZ-1C... That poor bastard. <laughs> There's a KV-1. I really don't want to shoot at him on the move, but I do anyway. Track him. A little bit of damage, and he continues moving. But he's not as fast this time. Only 35 damage. Most of it's eaten by the tracks. Ooh, bounce a shot from him. I think he's got the 85. Bounce a Hetzer. Second shot from the KV-1 does not bounce. So I move to where he should only be able to see my turret, but he still pens me. Hetzer bounces again. Hetzer, who I cannot see, and who no one has seen yet. There's the Hetzer. I'm not worried about him at the moment, though. Okay, maybe I'm a little worried about him. Missed by a mile. And he's off to go do something to somebody else. Still trying to get a shot on him, and I don't know why. I've got better things I could be doing. I mean, it's already... I didn't even realize at this point we're already up seven kills. We've just completely crushed them. They do have... A British Sherman 3 harassing our Artie, though, and my platoon mate went back to 
resolve that situation. Oh, well, there's the Hetzer again. Yeah, M2 medium. If I had been more careful, I probably would have killed him with one shot, but that's okay. He's not even moving. Clearly AFK. Sorry, buddy. And that was my fourth kill, confirming the high caliber as well. Keep in mind, I only have 26 hit points. Anything could breathe on me and kill me. That M2 medium, if he had the howitzer, could have killed me. Oh, and as a side note, I'm going to pause right here for one moment. Um, my platoon mate's dead, and I, when he went back to deal with that Sherman, I asked him if he had that in hand, um, and he didn't answer me. And it was at this point that I realized he he was dead. He actually got disconnected from the game, <laughs> and I didn't realize it till after the battle. I miss the gorilla. Everybody else hits him though. It's one already left. I don't believe I've got any prayer of. Uh, but then he's right there. <laughs> so, anyway, this was um. This was a 47 percenter on this tank, on this battle, um, based on XVM, which means it's a pretty even battle. If you even listen to XVM, at low tiers especially, you never know when someone with a red WN8 score is going to surprise you and do something really special. Um, of course, uh, you know, I got a host of lesser medals on this. I got Duelist, I got Fighter, I got Fire for Effect, I got Bruiser, you know, all that stuff. But um, the Derp gun in these situations is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, just what you can do to these lower tier tanks so quickly. And had I had, for that matter, when I was shooting at the KV-1, had I had the 3-inch gun, there's a good chance I wouldn't have penned him. We all know that KV-1 armor, especially with the tracks on the sides, tends to just suck up AP shells for little or no damage. So, anyway, I hope you liked this replay. It was a quick one on the M4. Uh, it was It was a fun game. Very fast-paced, which at this tier they usually are, especially with this kind of gun. Um, please like the video. It would really help my channel out. Comment. Subscribe for more. Thanks a lot, guys.